In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can reduce rational expressions. We already know that to reduce fractions, we divide out common factors, which means in order to reduce out common factors, we must first factor the expression. We cannot look at an expression like 2x squared plus 5x minus 3 over 2x squared minus 5x plus 2. We are not allowed to, this is bad, we are not allowed to just cancel terms. That's bad, don't do that. Don't do that, that's bad, because those are not factors. Factors are multiplied, terms are added and subtracted. We can't do anything with terms. So we must first factor these polynomials. So in the numerator, as we factor, first times first has to equal first. So to get 2x squared, it must be 2x times x. Last times last has to equal last. To get 3, it's probably going to be 1 times 3 or 3 times 1. So looking at that, 2 times 3 is 6x. 1 times x is 1x. That works if the 1x is negative, 6 minus 1 is the positive 5 in the middle. And so there's our numerator factored. In the denominator, we factor it as well. First times first is first, so that has to be 2x times x. Last times last is last. It could be 2 times 1, but ooh, there's a common factor. That's not allowed in a, inside a factor, so we'll switch them. Must be 1 times 2. So we've got 4x and 1x. We want to end up with negative 5 in the middle, so they both have to be negative. Negative 1 and negative two 4 is going to give us the negative 5. So we have now gone through and factored this polynomial, both numerator and denominator. When we do that, we can now see that there is a common factor, the 2x minus 1, which can divide out. And when we divide out the common factor, all that's left is the x plus 3 over the x minus 2. We have reduced this rational expression. Example 2, really similar idea, 9x squared minus 30x plus 25 over 9x minus 25. One thing you might notice here is that we can take the square roots of the first and last term. The square root of 9x squared is 3x. The square root of 25 is 5. And if we multiply them together and times 2, that equals 30x, which matches in the middle. This is a perfect square shortcut where we take the square roots, 3x, sine from the middle, minus square root of the last term, 5, squared. It's really important for these rational expressions that we remember all of our factoring tricks that we saw before when we studied factoring. Speaking of factoring tricks in the denominator, we have two terms with subtraction and squareds. Two terms, we're also thinking factoring tricks, this one, you'll recall, is a sum and a difference. Where we take the square roots, the square root of 9x squared is 3x, and the square root of 25 is 5. It's 3x plus 5, 3x minus 5. Now, looking for a common factor, we see 3x minus 5 in both top and bottom. Remember, there's two of them in the numerator, so if we divide one out, we're left with 1 remaining in the numerator. And so for our final answer, we have 3x minus 5 over 3x plus 5. And we're done. So reducing rational expressions, we simply have to factor the numerator and denominator so that we can divide out common factors.